Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, my name is Jesse. I'm the worship pastor at Calvary, and I'll be sharing your word for the day. Today we're in Psalm 125, and it speaks of how the Lord surrounds His people for those who put their trust in Him. So let's read Psalms 125. It says, Those who trust in the Lord are as secure as Mount Zion. They will not be defeated, but endure forever. Just as the mountains surrounded Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds His people both now and forever. The wicked will not rule the land of the godly, for then the godly might be tempted to do wrong. O Lord, do good to those who are good, whose hearts are in tune with you, but banish those who turn to crooked ways. O Lord, take them away with those who do evil. May Israel have peace. In this psalm, we hear the word trust. We should give God the best and the most trust in our life, not holding back anything. Trusting God fully and removing our trust from other things that distract us from God, then He alone is our refuge and strength. As believers in Christ, He is our protector, our foundation, and our rock. He gives us strength and stability. He gives us purpose and hope and life. When we are dependent and reliant on our God, our trust in Him will flourish and we'll be secure knowing His plans and ways are good. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. So spend time with God daily, reading His Word, living in thanksgiving, and praising Him with your life. Then your trust in Him will grow as you understand and know the heart of our Father and His love for you. God's people can trust that Yahweh will surround and protect them as the mountains surround Jerusalem. For those who trust in the Lord, He will surround His people now and forever, and that is a great comfort and promise. Something for us to think about in what area are you not trusting God? My encouragement is to surrender anything you've been holding on to. Be willing to change. Do not fear and trust God's plan and purpose for your life. If you are in a struggle, take a step today and allow God to reveal and heal. As Isaiah 41.10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. I pray you put your trust, faith, and love in Jesus always, and may His peace rest on you and His love overflow in you. Have a great weekend.